If you're old, welcome back. And today I have my finally, very extremely, a month late from shipping, my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for July. This shipped on like July 8th. And I just got it. Today's Monday. I got it Friday, but I didn't have time to film. And it just came in because they used a new shipping partner called Pitney Bows, which I talked about like in their horror. Like it blamed me on COVID, whatever. I don't know, but a month to ship, seriously. And then it would just sit in places. Like it sat in New Jersey for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then sat in Atlanta for like a week. I'm like, apparently, I don't think they're using them this month. Or I don't know. Because my friend Cassie got hers already. So hopefully not. And she had waited a month to to get hers. So but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got since I don't have my August one yet. Uh, the car just says take a break. Um, we did get a bag made of that same like plasticky rubbery feeling material that last month's bag which last month's uh, regular bag because I did get my regular glam bag um, but a different design. It's cute. Well I use this now but it's cute. It's on, like It feels like a pencil case. That's what it is. Pencil case material. So there's that. First thing in here is from ooh, Il Macchiaghi or Il Macchiaghi. Uh, Colorable Boss Multidimensional Eye Color. It is a ginormous eyeshadow in that brown color. This thing's heavy. So I know that case is heavy. And I don't, I don't really, I think you've got to rip it open. I don't think it'll just come out or maybe it will with some finagling. Maybe it will. I don't know. Um, but it's like really heavy. I think it's made of metal to be this heavy. It's it's stout. And it's 2.5 grams. That's like over double the size of a normal eyeshadow. This thing I did remember retails for like $24. I would never pay $24 for a single eyeshadow no matter how big it was. And this color, while pretty, is neutral. It's brown. It's a shimmer brown. Like deep brown. And also, it contains carmine. Um, this is made in Italy, but it contains carmine, so I would be passing it along, and I wouldn't wear it anyway, but it's really, it's heavy. Next thing up is from Salmon Bejean. It's a hydroactive eye cream. Uh, total regeneration and anti-wrinkle and brightening blend in sodium DNA. I think this was my choice for this month because I'm really into eye creams and I'm going through them. So like I've really started using them a lot. Probably because I use it multiple times a day, usually about three times a day, just because I have that issue where this eye came, I think it was caused by an eye cream, but it just was tearing under here when I rubbed my eye. So bad, like little, it was weird. Um, so I've just been applying lots and lots of eye, eye creams. They, uh, morning before I go to bed and when I wash my face off in the middle of the day or after work. Um, so this is 0.9 full ounces. So not quite a full ounce. Your first ingredient is water and then you got Camilla Sinensis leaf extract. You got ferment, glycerin, which is, you know, holds the water. You got salmon egg extract. Okay, so we're talking row or fish eggs caviar basically up in this thing. That's interesting. You do got hydrolyzed, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. After that a little bit, you got shea butter before that, but right after the egg extract, you got vegetable oil, which is weird. Uh, I do see Japonica root extract, which is above the, above the eggs actually and below. A lot of interesting ingredients. The last ingredient is a fragrance. Um, you got a little bit of folic acid in there. Of course, it's pretty down there, but it has decent ingredients from what I'm reading. 
a lot of root extract. All right, next thing up in here, and I thought about reading this is from, looks like tart packaging. It's not, this is uh, Nature's Cartel, I guess is the name. VCR Static, it's a lip gloss. It's vegan and cruelty free. And it looks like this. It has like little pearl bubbles in it, which is neat, but I'm never going to use this. It's clear. I'm never going to use it. I'm going to give that to one of my nieces. Probably one of the younger ones. They like little glittery lip glosses. I normally pass them on to them. Um, so there's that. I also got Tarte Surfer Curl Volumizing Mascara, which I think this is really new. It looks interesting. It is, has algae, vitamin E, mineral pigments. It's ophthalmologist tested. It's cruelty free and vegan, which is good. Um, formulated for eye opening, volume, and curl, vitamin E conditions, plant waxes, lengthen. It doesn't say if it's waterproof. It's saying sample, not for sale, but I'm pretty sure it's full size. Nine milliliters, 0.3 ounces, maybe it's not full size. Um, looks like full size to me. So I'm going to try this, not right now, but I'm going to try it. So I'm cool with that box. This is the Awake Glow Pill. And it is a super serum. And it uses AM and PM. It's a skin hydrating vitamins in a serum. Skin appears more balanced, hydrated, and smooth. It has pH 5.3, a super blend of vitamin B3, and B5, and antioxidant benefits. It is vegan and cruelty free. It only has a six month shelf life. It is Belgium and London, I guess. Brand, I'm not sure. I haven't really ever heard of them, so we'll try it. This is what it looks like. Like it's totally clear, it's like a serum. Looks like, um, well for the vitamins, they just say like hyaluronic acid kind of serum. And that's cool. I'm cool with that. Okay. Bottles. Interesting. Looks almost like an old school perfume, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's supposed to look like a pill, I guess. But this is what I chose to add on. It wasn't available as a choice, which is disappointing. But that's fine. It's available as an add on for $18. So I'm excited for this. And then, of course, I took it out of the box for whatever reason. But this is the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Oil Retinol in Blue Tansy. It's next generation retinoid oil. Reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the signs of premature aging and surface redness. Which I need. I have a little bit of redness. Um, and pores. <laughs> Hopefully not too much wrinkles. But maybe that one right there. My forehead. Okay, Luna works throughout the night to deliver youthful looking, luminous, even toned skin in the morning. Retinol ester reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while providing the visible signs of premature aging, fine lines, uneven texture, age spots, dryness, and dullness. Bal balance with blue tansy and German chamomile essential oils. You guys probably like pretty sweet, you know, kind of like relax you. Both rich and soothing blue acetylene to neutralize surface redness and signs of sensitivity. Clinically proven to improve the fine lines, radiance, and skin smoothness in four weeks. Mm, 12 months shelf life. It's a gorgeous bottle and all. I think I'm going to wait until after summer's over and we're more in winter where I wouldn't get as much sun because I know with retinol you're supposed to be really careful about sun exposure. Right now I am getting sun exposure just because it's so freaking sunny. And I've been able to go to my brother this past couple weekends. Uh, for their pool. So, I kind of want to use this in the winter where I'm hibernating anyway. It might be more cloudy because we get more rain than anything down in the south there in the winter. So, I'll probably save that. But it kind of smells good. So, I'm going to save this. But I'm excited to try this. And I know this is like a $100 product. Lord knows how much this is. So, yeah. Overall, except for like, I don't lip glosses. I mean, give me a colored glitter. Fine. But just a clear glitter. You know. Um, don't really care for that. And then this big old eyeshadow as one of your products. Yes, it's $24, but you could have given me some kind of some brands palette. You can give me a BH Cosmetic palette or, um, a ColourPop or an Ace Beauty palette or something like that. Almost equivalent to $24 for one single shadow. You could give me one of those products. Okay. 
But I do like the eye cream, which I chose. The super serum's cool. I like my add-on. And then I'm okay with the mascara. At the time I tried to do mascara, I think. So anyway, that was my July Ipsy Glam Pack Plus. Here's hoping that I get my new one rather soon. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Toodles.